So what is an alpha group? An alpha group is basically a closed Discord server where the members share information and the person running the group can then share other information that they've then gathered to make better trades, but then also sharing stuff like whitelists and giveaways. Who are alpha groups for? Now an alpha group is good for those people that are time poor or that want really good information. The reason that alpha groups are seen as a good thing is the closed aspect nature of them and they're paid is that they mean that is going to sort of weed out the people that aren't as serious about sort of trading the NFTs and it keeps the noise down because with a server of sort of 50 or 100 people, those people are very tight. They build very strong relationships. Now, those people that are in those alpha groups are usually in other alpha groups as well, which means that when a piece of information comes out about a really good project, a really good drop or something like that, it then spreads between these alpha groups. And this is where you'll usually get the information first and get the information fast. Now the people running these alpha groups, what they'll actually do is they will also have some of their circles and they will sort of come up and get the information and share it with their groups. They'll also leverage the fact they've got this group to then get uh, sort of spots, whitelist spots on top tier projects. So what this means is it means that people that are in the alpha groups will actually sort of get the whitelist spots and get really good information. So I'm gonna butt in really quick here and say that I don't have an alpha group. I've got a Discord server that I use as an extension of uh, these videos so you can kind of watch something in this video ask a question in the discord and then hopefully get an answer from me because it's easier to keep track of comments and replies there so i don't have an alpha group don't kind of jump in the comments and ask for where it is i don't have one if someone says that there is one um, that could be a scam and then also don't jump over on twitter or discord because uh there are no links or anything to an alpha group now from the outside, this practice might seem a little bit shady and uncommon, but it's actually very common. Now the reason that uh, it's called an alpha group is because alpha is essentially good information. Alpha means first, it's number one. So an alpha group is essentially um, a play off the fact that when you get alpha, you're getting uh, the best information, you're getting the information first. Now when it comes down to these alpha groups, if you actually think of them as a tight group of friends, so a friendship circle, and and this is where they're kind of sharing stuff. So when you personally hear something about um, something cool, you'll share them with your friends. And essentially an alpha group, it's a concentrated group of friends within the NFT space that then share their information about these NFTs. Now, what can happen is that within the alpha group, you're then going to get a really high level consensus of what a project is and does. So if you do join an alpha group uh, and you come across a project, you can then discuss this project with other people that you know have very good high intentions when it comes down to projects, which means that you're not going to sort of ask a suggestion on a project and have everyone saying that's a really good project buy in but they're not actually sort of uh, high end traders and people with a lot of experience within the market so that's why an alpha group can be good now i know lots of people that run alpha groups and the amount of value that they give to their holders of these alpha groups is absolutely insane so how do you find an alpha group the best way to find an alpha group is find those thought leaders in this space. So the people that you see on YouTube, the people that you see on Twitter, reach out, ask them, go, hey, do you have an alpha group? And it's usually in the form of Patreon or buying an NFT to then get into these alpha groups. And what they'll then do is once you're in there, they then know who to focus their time and effort and energy on, which can then lead to a better result when it comes down to your trading. An alpha group is for someone that has a little bit of liquidity. So I'm talking someone that has around two to three ETH, I think will get good value out of an alpha group. Someone that may have underneath two ETH, so maybe one to one and a half, they may not find as much value in it because even though the calls or the alpha may be very good within an alpha group, the idea that you can't just have sort of two or three at bats to then hopefully hit a home run, you need to have a little bit more. It also means the fact that you're playing with people that are on the same um, area and the same spectrum, so you can actually kind of keep up with them when these trades are happening. Because if you are getting onto whitelists or you are getting into these calls and trying to get onto things early, so you need to be able to kind of have the liquidity to kind of jump in, move very fast and not have to exit positions to kind of re-up your capital. Um, it also means that you're able to then move with them on those particular trades and ride them up and actually get the gains that you want. If you only have around one ETH, you've only essentially got 10 at bats to mint one. If you're in an alpha group to get the most value out of it, to actually sort of pay off that 
alpha group, you're going to need to kind of buy three or four of a project, write it up, offload one or two, sit in profit, and then ride the rest out. Otherwise, it's not a good use of the capital that you can deploy. Do you need to be in an alpha group to succeed? No, you don't need to be in an alpha group to succeed. You can do this yourself. Alpha groups are just a conglomeration of information in one spot with perks that you get for being within this particular group, be that whitelist spots, giveaways, um, or even just access to other projects in itself. Now, I see huge value in alpha groups, but you don't need them to succeed. If you just do the legwork on Twitter or in Discord, you are going to find these um, projects and you are going to do these runs. How should you act when you're in an alpha group? What you should do when you are in an alpha group is to be considered when it comes down to the questions that you're asking and the information that you're asking. Just because you're in the group doesn't mean that you've got a one-on-one -on -one ticket with the person that's running the group or necessarily have the best perfect advice that you should follow blindly. When you are in an alpha group, you should kind of go in there and read the room. And when I say read the room, you should see who's talking, who the mods are, uh, who the kind of person running the alpha group is, and then kind of understand the dynamics of it and see what kinds of questions and where people are actually kind of asking those questions. Because in the alpha group, you will have different servers and you should try to keep them clean because what can happen is an alpha group is something that you buy into, which means that it is something they can uh, take off you or kind of restrict your access if you're not playing fair. So be polite, be kind and ask considered questions. I wouldn't go in there with every project that you see on Twitter, copy and paste the Discord link and go, hey, what do you think of this project? Hey, what do you think of this project? What you should be doing is you should be asking questions to get the answers on how you can evaluate those projects so you can then weed out the bad projects to only take the best ones to the group and then get the value from it because the most value that you can get from an alpha group isn't necessarily the whitelists or the calls or the good alpha. It's actually learning how to turn your brain into developing the best alpha itself which is going out there and de deciding and deciphering what projects are good what projects are bad and what projects to ape into 100 so that is a rundown of what an alpha group is i hope you got some value from this video if you did please consider hitting that subscribe button while you're down there also hit up that like button because it does help out with the algorithm it also lets me know what videos you like so i can then make more of those in the future as always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Alpha group, alpha group, alpha groups, alpha group, alpha group, alpha group, alpha groups, alpha group, alpha group, alpha group, alpha group, alpha groups, alpha groups, alpha groups, alpha groups, alpha group, an alpha group, an alpha group, an alpha group to get the most value out of it to actually sort of pay off that alpha group.